In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my flat lens for my GoPro HD Hero camera. The flat lens lets the camera focus properly underwater. The stock curved lens on a GoPro camera works fine above water, but once it's underwater, it doesn't focus properly and makes blurry videos and images. The flat lens eliminates this and gives you clear video and pictures underwater. To start, you're going to need two sheets of acrylic plastic. I used a thin black sheet for a spacer and then a thicker clear sheet, which is the front of the flat lens. Start with your thinner sheet of plastic first and drill a 7 8 hole. This hole allows the lens of the GoPro camera to protrude into the new flat lens that we're going to be putting on the housing. Make sure you don't move the piece of acrylic after you drill this hole because you're going to need the divot and the wood to line up your next hole. Using an inch and three quarter hole saw and lining up the divot and the wood with the pilot bit of the hole saw, we're going to cut this thin piece of plastic out so that we get a spacer. Using the same hole saw but without a pilot bit, we're going to cut the lens out of the thicker clear sheet of plastic. Here you can see the black spacer, our flat lens that still has the protective paper, and the original GoPro retaining ring. I secured the two pieces together using super glue. It only takes a few small dots of glue to hold these. It only has to be enough to make a seal. If there's any extra and it squishes out to the sides, you'll see it in your camera. Carefully line the two pieces up. Try not to slide them because if they slide around it's going to mess up the inside of the lens and you're going to have a blurry picture. Once they're together put something heavy on them or use a clamp and leave them alone for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to use the old GoPro retaining ring to drill pilot holes for the screws that will hold our new lens onto the housing. I used a drill bit just a little bit smaller than the screws that hold the, the original lens onto the GoPro housing. I'm going to drill one hole on one side and another across from it and use the screws to hold the ring down so that we can drill the remaining four pilot holes. The first hole is drilled and the retaining ring is screwed to the front of our new lens and I'm drilling a hole across from that screw. Once I put that second screw in I'll be able to drill the remainder of the holes knowing that they will all line up when it's done. Now I drilled the remaining four pilot holes using the same small bit. Once the six pilot holes are started, you can drill them all the way through using that same small bit. I put a few pieces of electrical tape on the other side of this lens just to keep dust off at the inside while I was working on it. Once the small holes are drilled all the way through, you'll have to find a drill bit 
that's just the same size as the head of the screws that hold on the original GoPro lens and you're going to use this drill bit to countersink into our new lens that'll give something for the screw to hold on to you'll have to find the depth by trial and error here you can see one screw sticking out of the back of the lens once you've finished countersinking all the holes you can put your new lens on uh, I got a new gasket but you might be able to use the old one when you're screwing your new lens onto the GoPro housing use a crisscross pattern the same as you'd use to install a tire if one side is tighter than the other the lens won't see properly and it'll leak once you've got the lens tightened down all you have to do is peel off that protective layer of paper on the front of your lens and test it out I recommend doing this without the camera installed just in case there's a problem with the gasket. The sides of the lens will be visible when you're shooting video but you can always crop this out. The most important part is that your underwater footage is crystal clear instead of being murky like it is with the standard GoPro lens.